be catch his king. And Let's see a classic example of slow play. This is from that same heat. And, uh, this is your Tony in the small blind. And uh, you found anything? Looks Man, like play. you've just called I here, Tony. Play every single hand. Now, would you consider that this is slow 11. playing already? You have seven eleven. Oh, oh, excuse me, you've raised. Eleven thousand at time. Yeah, I think yeah, that's the right play to raise. I have made a very small raise. He comes up with new ones. Yeah, yeah that's the one. They don't make And uh, open, so. if you're Bradley Foo right now, you're definitely calling because uh, yeah, you got position. Been. I made a very small raise and I'm talking, it looks like I haven't got much of a hand at all. Just having fun. Bradley's probably feeling very good about his hand right now. Not now, but <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> It's pretty dark. Now why have you checked it here? I want to see what he does and uh, this is slow playing my hand. I feel I'm good. Yeah, he makes some blood. It's great. Is that there's a lot of hands he can bet with that don't beat you, but not a lot of hands he yeah, can call like, with that don't beat you? He's yeah, probably, there's a lot of hands he can't call me with. If I bet, he won't call yeah. me. So and now he gives it. him a chance to, to bluff. <laughs> this is the, the ace way again. Win. Are you going to represent it here, you think? Nah. Now I know he hasn't got the ace. Yeah, I don't know if he's good now. Are you at all scared he might have a queen here, Tony? Of course, I'm, uh, I mean, I, I might have it, but I've already committed the pot once I've bet this. I haven't got many chips left. You bet a lot. I'm calling everything now. No, a very dangerous hand there, wasn't it? Yeah. Slow playing, of course, usually refers to um, having a very big hand and trying to get more action. But in that case, it was almost like you were trying to keep the pot small. Uh, to avoid danger. Yeah, I was. I, I wasn't sure if he had a club or if, or if, if he had a spade, or if he had a queen. On the end, I felt really good about my hand, that it was good, and uh, I had a better round. I, I probably ha was hoping he'd have a nine or something and make a, yeah, a really bad really pay you off, yeah. That was what you were hoping for. Well, a complete disaster with slow playing goes up next. And this is four-handed. This will be... Blind on blind, and this is Paul Jackson, who's a very strong Paul player. And option. Just limping in to Tony Bloom's big blind, who's got all the chips. No option. And a small stack like that, I would just move all in, try to pick the pot up. Check. Check. What does Paul have right now? Oh, he's got two pair. I don't know why he's checking there. There's no way you can slide for that hand. Check. I mean, how strong does your hand need to be in order to slow play? Oh, like three jacks would be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Still, there's clubs out there. You know? <laughs> well, what's what's the lesson that Paul Jackson should be? And now he's now he's uh, yeah, he's playing his hand. He's got to grab the pot before the flop. He shouldn't be going all in. But on the flop, he's got it better. Yeah, look, look, look what comes out. Now he, he's going to get bluffed out. I think Tony's actually made a flush. Yeah, yeah, he even made a flush. Yeah, Jackson missed a bet on the flop to just take the pot. He got the perfect flop, Jack-5, Jack. Look at his stack. He needed this pot. Not yet, Tom. Now he's sitting there hating himself. Tony Bloom is making a very good bet. Well, he's got the best hand, doesn't he? Yeah. Still hard to bet that. You've got to be a really good player to bet that. You've got to be a really bad player to call that on the end. <laughs> <laughs> That's a horrible it's, way to play the hand. It, it does seem like if Paul had used those chips at any other time during the hand, he would have won the pot. Yeah, that seemed to be the absolute worst way to play that particular hand. You're low stack. If you move all in, you're winning the pot 95 percent of the time. <laughs> not, you not, just grab it. Do you think sometimes that it's easy to get lost in a hand? I mean, uh, let's have a look at this one. Someone else gets a little bit lost, but it, it seems like sometimes you start to get in a hand. I mean, with those two jacks earlier, Tony, you could play it a little bit slow because you knew where you were at. But Paul just got lost. Yeah, he got totally lost. I mean, on the river, there's just no way you can call. And but Tony made a brilliant bet. That's a very, very hard value bet he made on the river. 
Right. That's a very advanced play, and that's why I don't really want to be involved with Tony Bloom. He's very advanced. <laughs> Pass. Pyra has a raise with an ace nine oh. here, and oh. this is Pass. Yanni from the small blind just calling with two eights. Now, could he have re raised? Oh, easily. For I sure. would have. I wanted to take the pot right there. Yeah, I think he's I don't know, playing, playing a little weak. Well, like, or trying to get lucky like this. It's an amazing flop for him. Now, this would be a classic <coughs> time <coughs> when slow playing would seem like the natural thing to do. Why is he bet out? He's hoping that Andy's picked up a king, obviously. He's yeah. hoping that Andy's got a hand. But still, the better play would be check yeah. raising here for sure. Yeah, you to must check. Chips. I mean, Andy's the raiser. Why would you bet? I don't know. But you do make a very big pot if you bet and the other guy's got a hand. Yeah. You can get a double up. But the money is going in anyway if he has the king, if you check raise. There's two diamonds out there. But he's just hoping his opponent plays back at him. But Well, Andy's called here. and um, He hasn't called yet. No. Oh, sorry. Re-raise. But he, you see, because he's very aggressive and he re-raises with nothing. 20,000 more. I mean, Andy's instincts, you could, you could get a read on him. He wanted to fold the hand. He didn't like it. And then he's gone and made a move on it, and that's a disaster. This is why Andy bet. It's, it's a very good play, because now the pot's really, really big, and Andy's got no hand to play. Well, Yanni has, seems like Yanni's playing the man rather than the cards, but... I mean, from, from Andy's point of view... You can also <laughs> play his cards. He, yeah. He is. <laughs> Yanni is a, a really, really good player. I mean, he is a very classy player. Well, one of the best players in Europe, there's no doubt. And uh, you see, Andy's looking at him, and it looks like Yanni's got no hand. It looks like Yanni wants to fold. The problem is Yanni's got the nuts, so... <laughs> Andy give is, is Andy committed a classic example of... Carrying a steal too far. Yeah, he just he was he got too greedy. He, he thought he could get him off the hand. And in this, as you could see, he wanted to fold the hand, and he decided to make a move. Total disaster. I don't know what he's doing in the pot now. Still got a good chance to fold. He's got no hand at all. I don't know. Unless he's misreading that he's got diamonds. Yeah. He's totally butchering his chips. I mean, it's no no problem. He's had a he's had a raise. He's had a, a stab on. He, he had a stab. It's the time to get out. He has to run up the white flag. Yeah. It seems like Andy's gotten a little lost in the hand too, and Yanni is uh, so good that he just led him down that path. I guess uh, I mean, Yanni would have won a lot less by check raising on the flop, wouldn't he? Have, as it turned out. Yeah, but it it wasn't sure that. Andy was going to race, and then Yanni doesn't make much. If Yanni checks, Andy's betting for sure. So it's, it's every way has a chance, is a good way to play it. But It's not as easy as it looks sometimes. Exactly. I mean, uh, it's, it's a tough game. It's a tough <laughs> game, and that's why we're going to help you become better to make it easier. Well, guys, our theme today has been aggression. If you are aggressive, you'll always know where you're at because if they come over the top of you, you can just lay it down. Good hand, bad hand, aggression might win the pot with the best or the worst. The more aggressive player, the guy who continues to attack and bet at the pot on the flop, whether he hits it or not, is going to win more pots or not. Because most of the time, about three to one, you're not going to hit the flop with your two cards. It's not going to help your hand. When we return, we'll talk about big stacks and small stacks. They're not all even, and they play different ways.